history repeats itself. First as tragedy, second as farce. The oppressed are allowed once every few years to decide which particular representatives of the oppressing class are to represent and repress them. The bureaucracy is a circle from which no one can escape. Its hierarchy is a hierarchy of knowledge. Democracy is the road to socialism. A nation cannot become free and at the same time continue to oppress other nations. The country that is more developed industrially only shows to the less developed the image of its own future. Political power, properly so called, is merely the organized power of one class for oppressing another. The history of all previous societies has been the history of class struggles. Man makes his own history, but he does not make it out of the whole cloth. He does not make it out of conditions chosen by himself, but out of such as he finds close at hand. History calls those men the greatest who have ennobled themselves by working for the common good. Experience acclaims as happiest the man who has made the greatest number of people happy. The philosophers have only interpreted the world in various ways. The point, however, is to change it. Social progress can be measured by the social position of the female sex. Surround yourself with people who make you happy. People who make you laugh, who help you when you are in need, people who genuinely care. They are the ones worth keeping in your life. Everyone else is just passing through. Reason has always existed, but not always in a reasonable form. Let the ruling classes tremble at a communistic revolution. The proletarians have nothing to lose but their chains. They have a world to win. Working men of all countries unite. Society does not consist of individuals, but expresses the sum of all interrelations, the relations within which these individuals stand. The tradition of all dead generations weighs like a nightmare on the brains of the living. The production of too many useful things results in too many useless people. The ruling ideas of each age have ever been the ideas of its ruling class. To be radical is to go to the root of the matter. For man, however, the root is man himself. Religion is the opium of the masses. The hand mill gives you society with the feudal lord, the steam mill society with the industrial capitalist. I am nothing, but I must be everything. To be radical is to grasp things by the root. Necessity is blind until it becomes conscious. Freedom is the consciousness of necessity. I am a machine condemned to devour books. The question whether the objective truth can be attributed to human thinking is not a question of theory, but is a practical question. The demand to give up its illusions about its condition is the demand to give up a condition that needs illusions. The rich will do anything for the poor but get off their backs. The last capitalist we hang shall be the one who sold us the rope. You must be aware that the reward for labor and quantity of labor 
are quite desperate things. Revolutions are the locomotives of history. The increase in value of the world of things is directly proportional to the decrease in value of the human world. In capitalism, teach a man to fish, but the fish he catches aren't his. They belong to the person paying him to fish, and if he's lucky, he might get paid enough to buy a few fish for himself. The less you eat, drink, buy books, go to the theater or to balls or to the pub, and the less you think, love, theorize, sing, paint, fence, etc., the more you will be able to save and the greater will become your treasure which neither moth nor rust will corrupt your capital. The less you are, the less you express your life. The more you have, the greater is your alienated life, and the greater is the saving of your alienated being. Capital is dead labor, which vampire-like lives only by sucking living labor, and lives the more, the more labor it sucks. Political economy regards the proletarian like a horse. He must receive enough to enable him to work. It does not consider him during the time when he is not working as a human being. It leaves this to criminal law, doctors, religion, statistical tables, politics, and the beetle. Machines were, it may be said, the weapon employed by the capitalist to quell the revolt of specialized labor. Moments are the elements of profit. The theory of communists may be summed up in the single sentence, abolition of private property. Communism is the riddle of history solved, and it knows itself to be the solution. Landlords, like all other men, love to reap where they never sowed. Nothing can have value without being an object of utility. Take away a nation's heritage and they are more easily persuaded. The meaning of peace is the absence of opposition to socialism. If you can cut the people off from their history, then they can be easily persuaded. When the sufferers learn to think, then the thinkers will learn to suffer. The first requisite for the happiness of the people is the abolition of religion. The existence of the state is inseparable from the existence of slavery. Religion is the impotence of the human mind to deal with occurrences it cannot understand. People without a heritage are easily persuaded. Be careful to trust a person who does not like wine. All history is nothing but a continuous transformation of human nature. <laughs>